Hello everyone, welcome back to Game Dev Night. Today is episode 5 of our platform series, and today is going to be a bit more of a quicker video. We're going to do coin display, but it's going to be pretty easy. So we're just going to do the UI that shows the coin, and I wanted to make this one a little bit more quick, because the last video was pretty long, so I don't want it to be a big one again. And to start off, we'll need a canvas layer. And the reason for that is, if you have UI that's not in a canvas layer like that, so if I make like a label, like so, I type something in like, hello, you can see at the top left there, move that to the middle of the screen, I hit play. If I move around, you can see that's not working. <laughs> so <laughs> obviously we need that to be with the camera, uh, follow the camera. And for that, we just use a canvas layer. Um, so we're just gonna delete this label node. And we're going to rename this canvas layer to UI Manager. And then for this, we'll need a texture rect as a child. So texture rect like so. And we're going to call this coin icon. And we're going to drag in the coin PNG from our coin folder for our episode 4. And we're going to change the size a little bit because personally for me, I think it's a little bit big. Obviously, you can make things as big as you want. This is your game. And I'm going to make mine 24 by 24. So it's a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna make another node, which is a label. I'm gonna rename this label to coin display. And this will display our coins. So for now, I'm just gonna make it zero like that. And I'm gonna move it. And I think that's good. And we're gonna go into theme overrides and I'm going to go into fonts. Uh, no, sorry, font sizes. And then from here, you essentially just click this to get a font you think looks good. I'm going to go for a little bit of a bigger font. I think 24 would be nice. Uh, I think having it easier to see the coins is a good thing to do. And in colors, I'm going to hit the color right there. Click on this. I'm going to click the sample tool and I'm going to click on the border of the coin. So that little outline, I clicked on that. So now I've got this nice brown color for the coin to stay in theme. And now let's have play and I'll show you how this looks. So you can see we have the coin display at the top left. And actually, that is a pretty big text. Maybe I shouldn't have done it that big, but for now, I'll leave it how it is. And I'm going to go into my UI manager and add a script. I'm going to go into this folder button right here, click up, up, go into scripts. I'm going to make a new folder called UI. Obviously, you don't have to make a folder for it. I just like to sort my things out. So I'm going to hit open and create. And then here, we'll need a function. Func update coin display. I'm saying it so specifically because we might have multiple UI things. So you don't want one function called update display, but there's another function that needs the same thing. So we're going to go onto coin display like that, drag it in, dot text equals string game manager dot coins. Now, the reason we have to string this is you can't just set a string like this, which is text. Uh, you can't set it into a string without turning it into a string first, because right now our coins would look something like this, and we need it to look like this. So we are literally just doing that. We are just turning it into a string. Cool. And now we need to connect this to the game manager. So function ready, sorry, underscore ready, game manager dot gained coins. Cool. Dot connect update coin display and then remove the brackets and yeah so this is not going to work straight away and that's because of our game manager we're passing a value and because we're not using that value it's going to give us an error because obviously we are expecting one argument and we're not using it um so to fix that we can just do this and coins and now if we hit play you'll see that it indeed updates so our uh, there you go. <laughs> it's essentially done. Um, but if you are never going to use this, right, if you're never going to use this int that we are passing, so you're never going to have some loot goblin or special boss event or just anything where if the player gains, you know, like five coins at once, like say, let's say he picks up a ruby and he gets five coins and you have some cool enemy that if the player gains five coins at once, the enemy gets like angry or he wants to steal the coins. Um, then obviously you need this because you need to know how many coins are being passed. Um, but if you're not going to do that, then I guess just remove it like so, and like so. Go into our UI manager and remove it from over here. Now if you hit play, and we touch some coins, you can see it just works. 
And there you go. You have now made a UI manager <laughs> for coins. Um, so yeah, I decided to make this video a little bit more shorter. And while I just talk right now, I'm going to adjust how this looks because I think it's a little bit big. Uh, but yeah, so I was going to do the particle effects for the player. Oh, sorry. I don't think I'm changing the particle effects for the player this video, but I decided not to. Um, I thought it might be better to have one long video near the end of the series where we update anything that needs improving uh, visually. So we'll have a, I'll call it a polish video, which will basically be one of the big finales for the series. And there we will make particle fix for the flags when you touch them and all this cool stuff just to make things feel a little bit more alive. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to say, honestly. Uh, yeah, so I was going to do that in this video, but I decided I don't want to make these too long. Uh, like that last video was quite long. And again, I'm sorry about that. We just had a lot to cover. So yeah, here's a little bit of a shorter video for you guys. And next episode, I think we'll get into attacking. I think we'll add a simple attack to the game. So we'll make a little area where the player can melee. And if he melees, it'll just detect all enemies in a little radius and do damage to them. And yeah, the video after that, we'll implement some enemies. So we'll make a basic enemy uh, that will walk on platforms. So I think once I finish this recording, which I'm going to do right now, I'm going to actually expand on my map quite a bit. So... Again, if you have a tiny little map, I'd suggest making a little bit bigger, just so there's some more to do. Um, that's what I'm going to do right now, so there's your homework, I guess. If your map is tiny, make it a little bit bigger, because we're going to get into making some enemies and stuff soon. Um, and at the end of this, we will have a very cool boss fight in the series, uh, so I hope you guys are excited for that. But yeah, implement a bigger map. Use your tile map that we made in the previous videos and make yourself a nice little terrain, I guess, to play on. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. And again, as always, Discord's in the link below. Feel free to come join and talk. Uh, and yeah, I'd love any interaction from you guys. Let me know any feedback. And you guys are the best. We're almost at 100 subs. And I really appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, have a nice day, everyone. And I will see you later.